So hello and welcome to Active Ideas. Finally, we have the Chorus Pace Pro here. This is Chorus's new adventure into the AMOLED display, a watch that is twice as fast as last time and offering some really cool mapping and navigation features. As an ultra runner and someone who is battling the Ultra Trail by UTMB Snowdonia race this year and the Montaigne 268 mile spine race next year, I can't wait to get out into the unknown testing this watch. As a reviewer and someone who's always keeping up with technology it's been really interesting Cora saying we're never going to touch AMOLED and they've brought it here and they've really kind of come in with an awesome product a 1.3 inch screen so we'll be diving into that and just how I found it as a user I have been using the Chorus Vertix 2S for a year now so that's a fantastic watch with fantastic battery life but as Chorus has mentioned this is the Pace Pro so hopefully we'll be seeing faster maps faster scrolling just faster everything because I did feel, although that's a fantastic watch, and let me tell you, I've chosen that watch for many of these races that I've done just in this past year now, because I've trusted the navigation, I've trusted the battery life and its reliability to hold up when you're loading, you know, 200 mile GPX files. There's not many watches that can do that. But what's great to see, hopefully here, is that Chorus have brought us a more updated, smoothly running uh, version of that. So let's get it open. So here it is, this is the Chorus Pace Pro. What's so funny is how far Chorus have come with their environmentalism. They used to sell you like these bulletproof kind of John Wick boxes and now we're getting like a cardboard box. Woo! Let's open her up, oh boy. Damn. So we can lift the watch up and there she is. So straight off the bat with unboxing this watch, it feels really lightweight. It almost reminds me of like the Garmin 955. It's got like a super lightweight feel about it, very compact and quite kind of thin as well with all these bulky watches that we're getting at the minute it's nice to have a watch that isn't too bulky I'm really liking that we're getting a nice breathable watch strap and I will say that I don't know if I like the silicone watch straps that Coros do and I'm just going to take off my Sunto this is the Courtney Dowwater edition titanium it glows in the dark as well check out my video on the channel but yeah let's pop the Coros on I will say with the buckle system on Coros you get a very locked in system like this isn't coming undone but it is a lot of faffing around and for someone who likes to constantly adjust their watch strap, this strap can be a bit annoying. What you can see here on one wrist, I've got the T-Rex 3, again, video on the channel. But this is a watch that everyone's raving about at the minute, saying it's the Garmin Fenix 8 killer. Um, I think that's what Chaser Summit said anyway. <laughs> so let's turn it on. Oh boy, we're turning on, we're turning on. Oh, we've had a vibration and it says scan with the app. We are screen recording now. Let's scan with the watch. Restore as previous settings or set up as new watch. I'm gonna restore as previous settings and I'm gonna restore for my Vertix 2S because I've actually really enjoyed the settings I've created. Like you can customize all of your watch faces, your data screens, and actually with Coros, you're getting a lot of customization and it's really easy to do. Um, but yeah, I don't wanna do it again because it takes a bit of time. So we're gonna restore from the Vertix 2S and see what else is in the box. We've got the Coros here, the Explore Perfection stickers, yeah, we've moved from Killian Journey now to this Norwegian. And what we've got here is this new charging system. So no longer are you getting the conventional charging system. You're getting this cool key ring thing. So basically you've got like this little portable key ring charger. And on the bottom, obviously you've got USB-C. So this is gonna work with all the modern Samsungs and iPhones. We're just gonna dive into some of the things that this watch can do. So you press the button to turn it on. And what we've got here on the side is a digital crown. So you can see as I spin this crown, I'm actually unlocking the device. So this is switched on and you can see the time here see the percent of the battery life here so just scrolling through using the digital crown you rotate down this way you can see um, yeah some of the activities we've done today the steps and you can scroll through these if you want obviously the calories I've burned you could also see my VO2 max so this is my running fitness my 10k my half marathon says 140 we've got my chronic training load which you can see here you can see my distribution of easy my distribution of medium and hard so <laughs> from the looks of course I've actually been training a little bit too hard <laughs> and I have been smashing myself at training sessions and I'm starting to ache. So they've probably got this right. Diving in to the optimized here, my intensity trend is showing that I am doing really good. 113% optimized. My base fitness and my load impact is there on the watch. 
We've also got here the recovery. So I'm 96% recovered, which is good because I'm meant to be running an actual event tomorrow morning. Uh, we've got the sleep tracking last night. I just passed out last night. Stress tracking is something I've absolutely loved from Garmin and it's great to see it on Coros too, to see your stress over the day and over time. You'll also see here heart rate variability, which is gonna be recorded on the watch. So that's fantastic. A great way of seeing if you're overstressed. Now you've got weather here and this is the controversy and it's actually one of the main reasons that I'll go towards the Sinto platform more so than Coros in my daily life. And it's because on Coros, they don't actually have a temperature widget. They used to. I actually have a Coros Pace 2, which I haven't updated and I refuse to update because it has the temperature widget on it still. You can see here that it's 42 degrees Celsius, but I really want temperature sensor for when I'm going lake swimming, hiking, camping, going water plunging, sauna, like things that you just kind of want to do adventure lifestyle stuff. Take your watch off and just measure the ambient temperature in the environment. It's something that the Chorus Pace 2 from years ago can still do if you don't update it and all of the Sintos can do. So I really hope Chorus bring that to a Chorus watch in the future. You've got the UV index here. You can see the UV index is low, sunburn risk, and you can see kind of like that temperature change throughout the hours as well as the temperature change here um, throughout the days of the week and your risk of like rain as well. So let's come out of here and you can see that we've got the sun setting widget here. Really like that and uh, yeah you can scroll through the days and see your different times of dusk, dawn, sunset, sunrise. We have here your barometer. So this is your way of testing when you're up in the mountains you know am I at risk of being exposed to a storm? You're going to be able to test that with the pressure sensor in this watch. You've got here the altimeter as I was saying there so you can see how high up in the mountain you are. Uh, we've got the BPM here and lastly I think we've got the notification so you can see here it's saying that you should update the watch but yeah apart from that um, I do like the way this has been designed how lightweight it is how responsive the touchscreen feels when I scroll through it with my finger really responsive touchscreen the fact that you can use the buttons as well we have some shortcuts so you can hold down these buttons on the side if I hold down the bottom button we'll get to like this control panel so you can access your control center yeah find my iPhone or Android Wi-Fi sync battery usage, really useful stuff here. You've got the camera control if you own like a GoPro or Insta360, metronome for you guys looking to improve your running, timer, stopwatch, you can time naps, you've got the alarm here, you've got satellite signal as well so you can see where all the satellite signals are. If you're one of those Elon Musk guys who likes to see the uh, planets and the satellites and I don't know, I don't know what you want it for but it's really cool. Uh, we've also got the location here so you can save the location of your tent, go hiking and then find your way back to the base, the tent, your car, whatever you want to save that for. You've got navigation here, so you can click on navigation and load up maps. So I recently used Coros to do the UTMB Arc of Attrition race, literally like a few weeks ago. So it's really cool to load up GPX files on Coros and yeah, the turn-by-turn -turn navigation is fantastic. We also have the map here, so you can load up the map, click on map, download the maps first. We've got the compass here, so the compass is great and we can access the um, barometer and the altimeter really good for you guys looking to do orienteering or like old school mountaineers. We've got broadcast heart rate so on here you can broadcast your heart rate to Zwift, Peloton, all of the gym equipment. I really love that about Coros and it's one thing where you can't actually get that on Sinto. We've also got the oximeter here so your level of blood oxygen when you're climbing Everest. Uh, we've got the resting heart rate app here so if you're resting you can test that in the morning at a designated time. We've got the wellness check. I've really enjoyed that because you get ECG. We've got music. Again another issue with Coros and it really lets it down compared to like Sinto. But on here you can control your Spotify on your iPhone so it's got like phone controls on it. With Coros you only get the ability to play mp3 files and no one's been doing that for about 20 years. Like it feels like Coros in terms of their music options are about 20 years out of date. It's, it's getting a bit embarrassing now. We have the watch face customization and the settings. So yeah if you want a real deep dive you're gonna have to stay tuned for my other videos. I'm just kind of showing you about this watch here because I'm excited as you are to see it all. If you press this top button here, so the scroll wheel, you'll get all of your activities here. So we've got run, indoor run, you know, trail run, track run, hike, walk, road bike. We've got so many, rowing, <laughs> triathlon, GPS, skiing, cross country skiing. And this is where you'll also put like your, uh, your workouts, your training plans, your fitness tests, and your history of workouts as well. So this is really cool stuff. And you can kind of go into your system uh, settings from here as well. And if I hold this button down, we will get 
nothing, but you can change this and make this be a like a hotkey for maps is what I usually use this uh, shortcut for. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the Chorus Pace Pro, I'm gonna be testing everything about it. Leave it down below and apart from that, peace out. <laughs>